Hey rogues! Welcome to the rogues gallery. It's Saturday, so we have another retro roguery lined up with some more Ultima 3. Uh, so that should be fun. Uh, I think we're still trying to revive our original party. Hi Rykar! <laughs> Welcome! <laughs> Good evening to you. Um, yeah, so I, I, I'm I, a little scattered today, but you know, that's kind of normal. Uh, <clears throat> and uh, ready for some fun games on Saturday. Um, I'm enjoying the Ultima 3 playthrough so far. I'm, I'm enjoying the game. I like the soundtrack, uh, which is what's playing right now. Um, I had a weird... Well, not weird. An unexpected uh, account find me on Twitter. Um, hi, Raining Rue. Welcome. Um, a, an account... Oh, what were they called? Now I have to go and look. Um, Ultima Dragons found me on Twitter. And it's apparently the Twitter of the Ultima Dragons fan club. Like... This club that's been around since, like, 1992 for fans of the Ultima games. Um, so they discovered me on Twitter and told me that I should at them whenever I'm uh, playing Ultima. So I did that. We'll see. I don't know if we'll get any anybody in here to watch based on that. But um, that was kind of cool. I didn't even know that that club existed. So <laughs> um, this week, this coming week... There is a new game coming out that I am really excited for. Um, not really a new game, I guess. It is the Mass Effect Legendary Edition that comes out this coming Friday. I have never played Mass Effect, Mass Effect 2 or Mass Effect 3. I've only played Andromeda. Um, <clears throat> and I have not seen anybody play one or two i've seen bits and pieces of three but most of the time i've been doing other things while amy's been playing that and so i don't really know that story either um so i'm planning to play it um <laughs> uh, yeah i i kind of just totally missed them somehow i'm not sure i would have to look i don't remember when they first released um hi organ mike welcome in um, I, I don't know when they first released, uh, but I'm pretty sure it was during a period of time where I basically either didn't have access to the internet very much or just had a Mac and just n wasn't paying any attention to computer games. Um, but I am not working this coming Friday. I had pre-scheduled, um, the day off, so I'm probably going to do a stream sometime in the afternoon. Uh, to start playing the first Mass Effect game uh, once I'm able to download and install it and make sure everything works. And then I'm looking at probably Sunday afternoons I will do a stream for a couple of hours playing that series. Um, I, right now I don't know if I will have a mod available for that. And honestly we're a small enough stream that I can probably stream even if the mods can't make it. But... Um, We'll see. So uh, I definitely I want to play it and I want to keep doing the um, the Mystery Mischief Monday where I rotate games and the Ultima stream is not going anywhere. So um, if I want to play it and play it soon, it's going to be a, a new stream. So that is the plan. Um, sometime Friday afternoon, the day it releases, I will go live with my Mass Effect playthrough beginning, and then I think it's going to be like Mondays at 2.30 in the afternoon uh, Eastern Time um, that I will look to stream uh, Mass Effect. So that's exciting. Um, I had never played any shooters at all until Mass Effect Andromeda. So um, I'm excited to go back and kind of see the earlier games and get that story because I only have, I only know the story from the context of Andromeda. <laughs> uh, 
Um, but I will I will hammer out the details and get them onto my um, schedule on the the channel. Um, yeah, so that is coming this week, and I'm I'm excited. Um, and then of course uh, Monday we are doing BattleTech. Um, we had. I had a lot of fun getting set up on Monday uh, with Battletech and barely making it through the opening uh, half hour long battle before we had to raid over to Q-Times. Um, I actually force quit the program because it seemed like it wasn't going to let me out of dialogues. So we'll see what happens when I start it up again on Monday. Uh, hopefully we don't have to redo the first battle. Um, but uh, that game has has turned out to be a lot more fun than I thought it was going to be. Um, it's also full of nostalgia for me because I played Mech Warrior a long, long time ago. Um, and then, of course, the archive streams on Wednesdays are going to keep going. Um, this coming Wednesday at 2.30, I'm doing a stream. Uh, the item that I'm sharing is Watercolors of Fungi. Um, it's a book from sometime in the 1840s, and it has hand done watercolors of fungi in it and uh a lot of the the script in it i think the I, I will try to read what's there it's in english it's just in very very slanted cursive and kind of faint so i'm not sure how much of it i'll be able to make out but um at least while i'm struggling to read the uh handwriting there will be pretty pictures of fungi that are they're really vibrant colors and and just really well done. So I'm I'm excited to show that one. Um, this month I'm kind of trying to focus on like gardening related things because it's May and that seemed appropriate. Um, so yeah, that's that's all coming up. Um, <clears throat> I'm gonna switch over. Um, yeah, raining Roo, It's two thirty p.m. on Wednesdays. Um, usually it starts up right around the time that Eric's stream is ending. Um, and if you can't, um, it'll be up on VOD. Um, it stays in VOD on my channel for, I think, two weeks before it expires. And then, um, it's always over, uh, the archives ones are always on the VTUL Studios channel. Um, so the VOD's available there or on the Virginia Tech University Library's YouTube channel. So, and I think, I, th I think I've linked the library's YouTube channel uh, on my page here for the archives VODs. I'm not sure where they're at at getting them uploaded though. So. So let's see where we're at in this game. Um, Like I said, I think we're still at the point of trying to <laughs> learn how not to die uh, and resurrect our original characters that we wanted to play through with. <laughs> Thank you, Kira. Um, there's the, the link there for the um, BTUL Studios channel, except that it's misspelled. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> Um, we have a number of clues that we've gotten. Uh, Exodus lies beyond the Silver Snake. Only with exotic arms can you win. Dawn comes each new pair. Marks are useful. Cards are useful. Exotics are useful. Insert cards into panels. Seek the Jester in Castle Fire. Hot Metal leaves a mark. The King favors a mark. A mark helps invoke the snake. Seek ye the Dungeon of Fire. Mark the Well. I'm not sure if that one was actually a clue, because Mark wasn't in quotes in that one. Uh, seek ye the Shrines of Truth. I've been beyond the Whirlpool. So, knowing that we can go beyond the Whirlpool. Uh, bribe guards, they will leave. And Dawn Rises in the Dark Forest. I don't know what most of those mean. Uh, but I'm sure we will figure it out eventually. <laughs> All right. Um... I think we just are ready to journey onward because I think we have a partial party and we're collecting gold uh, to resurrect the last two of our original party 
Um, and while we're doing that, we're learning not to die. Um, all right, we're decent on food. I think everybody's got weapons. Not dying is really good, yeah. Um, and our current gold is uh, 100. It takes 500 to revive someone, so... By the time we revive them, all of these others will, like, have leveled up, I'm sure. Uh, and it'll be like, why are we reviving these level 1 characters when we're, like, level 4 or 5? But we'll figure it out. Um, we did raid a dungeon, even though we couldn't see inside of it very well. Uh, and that was an interesting time. But we only went on the first level of that dungeon. Okay, here's a dungeon. It's surrounded by water. Enter. It's dark! Um. Oh. Now I'm forgetting, uh. Where's my book? I want the cleric spellbook. Because one of them, it's. Spell D is. Will give me um, light. <laughs> Yay, <laughs> Kira! Thank you. <laughs> All right, cleric spell D should give me some light. So, um, I don't know. Also, I don't know which dungeon this is. Apparently, it. Is there a way to find out? In some of the other ones, we had commands. Look, maybe? No. I don't think. But, it's fine. We can go on without that. <clears throat> it's just, the game has a map for all of the dungeons, if I knew which dungeon it was. Um, all right. Let us cast light. Cast by Alpha. Cleric spell. Oh, my MP is too low. Cast by Beta. Cleric spell D. Hey, light! Alright, let's. Pernian Depths? Pernian Depths. Let's see if the clue book has anything on the Pernian Depths. Alright, we have Daria. We've got Royal City of Britain. We've got City of You. These are the city maps. The dungeon map. Dungeon map. Oh. <clears throat> the Dungeon of Fire. That's not it. The Mines of Mori Morinia. The Pernian Depths. Many are the rewards to the adventurer who dares this dungeon. The king is an easy mark on the first level, but danger lurks below. The access to lower depths can be achieved only by magic, same by the use of a ladder reaching the lowest level, then climbing up. The vast quantities of golden treasure will lure the experienced party, but take care that thou art prepared for the traps, winds, gremlins, and other great dangers within. Well. I didn't want to. There we go. Alright, level one of this dungeon. There's going to be wind as soon as we move forward. We already moved forward a little bit, I think. Is there treasure on this first level, though? I don't see any. Ah. 
I also don't remember the legend for how these maps are read. Let me see. Where is the legend? Oh, that's a sign, not the wind? I know there was a legend in here. Here we go. Uh, mountain. Doors, secret doors. Misty writing. That's what the W was. Magic wind is M. Chests are G. Traps are T. All right. Magic wind is M. Chests are G. <clears throat> Okay, so there's a G here and here. So there's at least three chests on this first level of the dungeon. We will attempt. All right, so if I go forward, oops, I have to I hit Z to pause things. All right, forward. Turn forward. Oh, works. I don't remember who has which weapons. That would have been a good thing to recall. I know you have a ranged attack. I'm testing to see who has a ranged attack. Druid can use wizard spells to try and wipe them out. Um, which was the spell? Uh, player two cast wizard spell. Don't tie me out. Spell A. Thank you. Ooh. Sweet! <laughs> okay, that was awesome! I remembered you had told me that that was a thing. Um, and now it's dark. Well. I don't think... I shouldn't have advanced forward. Reverse? I should be turning left here, I think. And then advance. Nope. There we go. All right, I think I'm near the chest. Um, I have to wait for Beta to get enough magic power back to cast the light spell again. Come on, Beta. I know it takes all of your magic to do. 14, 15, cast. Oh, I've passed too much. Passed by Beta. Lumini! Look. Not a dungeon command. It literally was the chest, and I'm amazed that I found it. Okay, I'm 
in here and there were secret doors. And it's dark now. Left. Right. Advance until I can't advance anymore, and then turn right. Apparently, I don't know where I am. I thought I knew where I was. I don't know where I am. Um, light will help me in a moment. Maybe. Yes. I mean, a red hot rod in the wall? Who will touch? Um... It left a mark. Was that a good thing? Do, do is this a good thing? No. Nobody. I have no idea what that was, except that marks are useful. Mark of Kings. Okay, I need light again. <laughs> Ooh, look, a chest. Let's go get it. Okay, I go... I mean, clearly the one that hasn't. Or no, Alpha already did. Shoot. Um. No. Is that the one I want? Yes, okay. Um. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I'm wherever this mark is, but I don't know what symbol that is on the map. So I'm gonna look. So I think I have an idea where I am in the dungeon, but I don't know for sure. A brand, B. Okay. And there are two of those in the dungeon according to the map. But 
go. I think I'm here. There's another brand here. But if I'm here, I want, I want to get here. Oh, really? That's cool. Because I would like some light again. Just a little bit longer to pass the time next to this brand that has burned into my skin. Come on, Beta. Get that magic back. Just realized or remembered that uh, Sayhild could also heal. Since I took damage from touching the hot rod in the wall. All right. First, Alpha is going to heal themselves. Nobody. And then we're going to cast Light again. <laughs> okay. There's the door. Right where I thought it was, but also, so much easier when I can actually see what I'm doing. <clears throat> bomb trap! And apparently I set off the bomb trap. Alright, I'm crossing my fingers. Cast. Cleric spell. Healing on me. I took a lot of damage from that bomb trap. I'm just going to heal up a little bit, and then we will attempt to get the other chest in this room, and then we'll look at the second brand. I don't know if it's going to be any different than the first one. Cleric spell. Oh boy. So much danger in the dungeon, and I haven't even really been encountering bad guys. You know, I don't think there's magic wind on this level. I could probably light a torch.
think I have one. Uh, ignite. Ha! Huh, I do have a torch. I don't know how long it'll last. Okay. Okay. This is the other brand. So did I get a different mark? That's the question. Mark of Kings. And that's it. So they are the same mark, both of them. With the um, touching and getting the mark. Yeah, I'm not... I'm just going to stand here now for a minute. Uh, cast by Sayhild, Cleric Spell. Cast by Beta. On themselves. I have got all the chests from this level of this dungeon, so I think it's about time to head out. I'm just going to heal up a little bit first, <clears throat> and I guess we'll find out how long the uh, torch lasts, because... I'm going to be here for a couple of seconds here. if we do get attacked by orcs again, I would like to have some hit points. <laughs> All right. Almost cast healing twice more. Cast alpha cleric spell. Healing on who's lowest? Alpha. Cast by Beta. Healing on Beta. Rikar, thank you for redeeming the hydrate. I like the tune here. All right, Sayhild is lowest. I'm gonna try making my way out of here. What does D mark on the map? D is a down ladder, okay. I'm okay to go past that space then. <clears throat> I don't think I'm going down quite yet. Uh, but if I go all the way to the corner, it'll help me. <laughs> that is a good reason, uh, Rykar. All right. If I go all the way to the corner, there's a ladder down. Um, I don't think I'm going to go down right now. Because I'm not confident I won't get lost and I don't have a lot of uh, resources at the moment. Through the door, turn, whoops, I missed the hallway. This way. 
honestly, I'm very, very happy that they're giving me, um, maps. <laughs> I mean, I could have spent the time to map it myself, but also, they gave me maps. Oh. Okay, good. <clears throat> also, I don't think that chest was on the map. Yeah, that chest is not marked on the map. Uh, climb. Woohoo! I went into a dungeon and did the first level of it. Got a mark, whatever that does. And got out alive. I think that's progress. Uh, how much gold do we have now? 304. That's not bad. One torch. That we died to get because we went through a moon gate. Um, and then couldn't find our way back. Just gonna keep healing here while I can. Because I still am kind of low on hit points. Actually, I haven't really looked at my inventory. I've, I've brought it up a few times, but I haven't actually looked at it. So thank you for the nudge. Um... What is HM? Hit points is 107. What is HM? Hit point max. Thank you. These keys. Oh, cloth armor. Yeah, I have some chain armor that I apparently got from something. Um, give. Nope. Um, hand? From player one to player four. Armor. What is the... One. Right. Wow. D so doing this, <clears throat> this is the same kind of like inventory management that you do in modern RPG games, <clears throat> but it's a lot easier to do in modern RPG games. <laughs> All right. Where? Or four armor D. Huzzah! Better armor! Oh, and that took enough time that I can cast some healing spells again. Keep my main character up. Boost him all the way up if I can. There we go. Oh, did we map this? Um, don't know if we marked this on the map. And over and up through some woods, and then there's a mountain. I think we're like here. I will verify that that's where we are, and then I will mark it on the map. Yeah, we're like up here.
creeps. And dungeons, I think we had purple. Nope. I just drew lots of boxes I didn't want. Trying to take notes and make sure I'm doing everything, and oh boy. Um, but that passes enough time for me to keep casting healing. Oh, nope, sorry. Cast by four, cast healing on four. Okay. We're doing good. We're doing good. Uh, let's explore and see who we can fight for more gold. And treasure. Oh, hello. I think we're going to have some orcishness. <clears throat> so I really should have cast that with someone other than my druid, because my druid could... That's okay. I'm learning. Oh, it's just one orc. That's no problem. Spell A is free? Well then. But it failed. I didn't remember who had ranged weapons and who didn't. I know I do. But basically everybody else has a mace. I um, have to be on the space. Crap evaded. Gold, 61. That was a good haul. Apparently, did not work on the goblins. Liz! I will uh, greet you all in just a second, but welcome in everybody from Liz's library. Um, I am Rogan, and this is the Rogues Gallery. Um, we are currently playing Ultima 3, a game that came out in 1983. Welcome, welcome, everybody from Liz's library. It is so good to see you. Uh, I'm in the middle of a battle, and I'm trying not to die. So, one second here, and I will say hello more fully. <clears throat> Just need to kill this last goblin. There we go. <laughs> um, okay, let me 
pause. And then I can greet you with my full face. Welcome, welcome, everybody from Liz's Library. Thank you so much, Liz, for the raid. It is always lovely to have you all drop by on Saturdays. Um, and welcome, Sincerius and Snorp and Bass. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, dying is bad, and I'm learning not to do that in this game. Um, so yeah, this is uh, my regular Saturday stream, and we are um, having some retro fun with um, Ultima 3. If you're not familiar with the Ultima series, I do have a thing. Um... Nope. <laughs> I can type the command. I really can. Uh, hi, Lemon Twist. Thanks. Uh, this is the hat to match my um, the little sub badges. Uh, so there is a little bit of information about the game that we are playing today. Hi, Wraith Faye. Welcome. Um, it is the third in the Ultima series. We've done the first two on stream, and so we are currently playing the third one. Um, it is, uh, we got it through, um, GOG, uh, they have the whole, like, classic Ultima Games series available, um, yes, this hat would be a very good choice for King's Quest. <laughs> it is one of a few, um, hats that I have that are quite fun, um, you can always ask me to change hats by, um, spending some channel points there, some of the, the masks. Um... <clears throat> As you can see, this is very early graphics. Uh, it, the game is from 1983. Um, the GOG DOS version that we're running is in DOSBox and um, did not include the music. So I installed a mod that um, adds the original music from the Commodore 64 and Mac version of the game. Um, but none of the other mods have been activated. I actually went in and turned them all off. <laughs> King Graham says, nice hat. Um, there's actually a lovely mod for this game that gives it an, a graphical upgrade, um, but I chose to turn it off and to keep the original graphics. Um, this is the first time in uh, one of these games where we actually have a party instead of being a solo adventurer. So as you can see, we currently have uh, Krogan, who is a, um, trying to decode all of this, a male, um, what are they called? The furry creatures. Hi, Orangitis. Welcome in. I have forgotten the, the name of this race. Um... It's the it's only in this game. This race only appears in this game. Um, <clears throat> Krogan is a male fuzzy thief, uh, and then we have Sehild, who is a uh, female elf druid, and then we have currently Alpha and Beta, who are both clerics and only exist to help me resurrect the original party. So, <laughs> Hannah, thank you for the hundred bits. Thank you so much. It is so good to see you. Um, my original party all died because I got attacked by some guards when I tried to steal something. Um, <clears throat> and so since then I've been, like, that was shortly after starting the game. Since then I've been working on mapping, uh, because it comes with this lovely map. The original game, this map was cloth. Um, Alpha and Beta are siblings, yes, uh... <laughs> Well, Gamma and Delta already served their purpose in helping me to resurrect characters. I'm running from the frigate because at the moment, I am not excited about being attacked by a ship at sea. Um, so yeah, the original game came with a cloth map, um, but it doesn't mark where any of the towns or anything else like that are. Yes, Alpha is an elf and Beta is a bobbit. <laughs> uh, what is this town? Oh, this is Faye, right? Or no, this is you. We explored you last time, I think. 
And I don't think I have anything I need from you at the moment. Right now I need more, um, more gold. We're very close to being able to resurrect our lark named Sage, um, who was part of the original party. Uh, a lark is kind of like a bard. Um, and when we were naming characters at the beginning, uh, I wasn't sure what name to give our lark, and then somebody, I think it might have been, oh, I don't remember who it was, I think it might have been just here for coffee, um, suggested the name Sage for our lark, and I, I was like, well, duh, that is the most obvious name ever for our lark, so that is the name of our lark. And there's another dungeon here, hi, just here for coffee, I thought it was you, um, and it is honestly the perfect name. Um, I need to draw another shape on the map here because, as I said, the map came with the game but doesn't mark where any of the dungeons or moon gates or anything else are, uh, cities, towns, etc. And so it's up to you to find them and map them yourself. Um, but this game is actually from... If I remember correctly, this game is from before the era of, like, the, um, the game manual-based copyright protections. Uh, so if you've seen any of, like, the King's Quest games or anything like that, where it'll have you, uh, stop partway through and you have to refer to the manual, page seven, the third word on the fourth line, um, in the middle of the game in order to keep playing. Um, this game is from before that era. Whale Rider. <laughs> um, speaking of Mass Effect, next Friday, Mass Effect Legendary Edition comes out. Well, Yes. I mean, the they are necessary for playing the game, but the, I don't know that they were actually thought of as copy protection. I know when you get further into this series, they do some of that, if I remember correctly. Um, I want to say Martian Dreams had that type of copy protection in it. Um, I think of it mostly with King's Quest and Space Quest. Um, just want to kill a few more things. Ultima 6 had some at the start. I don't remember Ultima 6. I'm sure I played it, but I don't remember it. Yes! The red plastic and cardboard glasses for Maniac Mansion copy protection. They weren't the only game to do that, but yeah. Um, ooh, orcs. Cast! Wizard spell! It failed. Ah, well. The first time we used it, it was a wonderful spell, and now it just isn't working. That's fine, though. We will take care of these monstrous orcs. Um, and hopefully they'll give us enough money to resurrect Sage. It is a free spell, yes. Oh, I didn't mean to hit attack. And to move. You move back. You attack north. You move in. This Krogan needs to live. I don't want to have to resurrect my first character again. Victory! We have killed the orcs! Um... There is a story, ooh, 48 gold, um, and basically uh, there's a monstrous child of the big bads from the first and second games that has shown up in the world um, somewhere in an offshore island, if I remember the, the lore from the book correctly, um, <clears throat> and... 
adventurers are needed in order to combat this menace uh, and bring the world back to normal again. This is true. If I sell that cloth armor, I should be able to bring back my character. One aspect of the game that I really, really would like to mod <laughs> is the way that the inventory displays. Trolls! I wish that the inventory here... I don't know, it, does this spell work on trolls? We'll try it anyway. Ooh, it does! Um... The first two games, if I pushed Z to bring up inventory, it showed up in a lovely little list that was mostly on screen all at the same time and was very useful. Here, it pops into that little tiny window in the lower right and takes a lot longer to go through the inventory. So I wish that was slightly different, but... Especially now that I have four characters' inventory to manage instead of just one. Alright. Get this last troll. Huzzah! Oh, we're doing pretty good. Trap evaded. All right. Oh, and now, now all the baddies are coming. Thieves. Cloth gambesons and silk armor that both could stop most regular arrows. Foot soldier gambesons, faders. Apparently made the horse archer opponents they face. Huh. I don't know. I've never really thought about that. Inventory. <laughs> yeah, I. Uh... I feel like I feel like I should be writing down like keeping a written list of their inventory outside of the game, but that also feels like just too much effort when I can just bring up their inventory whenever I want. Well, I took a few hits. That's okay though. They're going to steal from me. I don't want them to steal from me. Kill the thieves! Come on! I should have moved, not attacked. Finally. Okay, they can only steal what I don't have equipped. Okay. Alpha doesn't have a weapon. Alpha has a bow. No. Wait, Alpha should have a mace. Well, if it wasn't ready before, it is now.
don't have a ranged attack there. Uh. Ooh. They healed. You are getting low on hit points. Okay. <laughs> Okay, get acid trap. Come on, you're supposed to be better than that. You're supposed to be able to get it without the traps hurting you. Okay. I definitely have enough money to resurrect somebody now. If I could just get to town. Also, food is becoming an issue. I don't like being below 50 on food. <laughs> Um, all right, let me look. Currently have 594 gold. That's good. 69 experience points. Nice. Bow, cloth armor. All right. What does Sayhild have? Anything worth anything? <clears throat> nice cloth armor a dagger that I do not need so I can sell that dagger we can eat the gambesons um, and what does alpha have that I want to get rid of Mace, cloth, mace. I can sell that dagger. And beta. Beta also has a dagger I can sell. Don't need the daggers while I have the maces. Uh, and cloth. Alright, so a couple things I can sell, then I can buy some food, then I can resurrect sage. I think the grocer was down here. The grocer! Well, I can buy the food first. No, I want to sell the things first. That's the exit to town. Yes, guards. I see you. All right. I can't save in town. Ah, oh, shoot. Okay, that's fine. Uh, transact. Welcome to the armor shop. No. Sell. For sale. Thank you for for sale nothing. Okay. Let's sell some daggers. All those chests I could steal. Um no. <laughs> Yo. Quiet. Um <clears throat> Don't need to list to sell. I want to sell the dagger. Huzzah! Uh, now 
alpha, do the same. Don't need the list. Sell a dagger. Uh, sell. Okay. Now let's join gold to one and see how much gold we have. 684! Um, so I could buy 184 food and resurrect someone. And then we'll try stealing some chests. Move out of the way. Not, not talking to you right now. Really, I should get together enough gold to dismiss all the guards and then just steal all the chests? But I'm not sure if that would be a good return on investment. I imagine I would spend more money dismissing the guards than uh, I would get from stealing the chests. All right, we should have 500 gold left. Yes, we do. Let us um, first hand some food out. Sayhild needs some. Uh, 30. Hand to alpha food. One thing I do not miss about um, RPG video games is food management. I get it. <clears throat> I understand your adventurers are out and about. They need to eat. <clears throat> it's a mechanic. It requires you to spend money. It it's, it's like a separate set of hit points, sort of. I don't miss having to deal with food management. So what does LCB stand for? What is the L? It's Castle Britain, right? So what is the L? Hello, healer! Um, I have all the money, so me. I want resurrection, please! Uh, yes, I will pay. Resurrect- oh shoot! What is the number? Well, we're... Oh, I have to put them in the party first. Oh, dear. <laughs> I was all excited to resurrect my character and then... Oops. Or, uh, since we're trying to resurrect Lark Sage, I, I should say, whoopsie doodle! Uh, and those who understand why the, why the character is named Lark Sage will understand that reference. Okay. First, what does Beta have in their inventory? Because Beta is going bye-bye. Even though Beta is the one that can cast light. Actually, no, I should get rid of Alpha then. Beta has the chainmail armor. Beta can cast light. I should say goodbye to Alpha. And keep Beta. 
So let's do inventory for alpha. Weapon hand? How did I don't understand? Why is your weapon hand? I readied the freaking mace. Whatever. It's because you sold the daggers, so now I need to re-equip Sehild and Beta as well. Right, right, right. That's very silly that if I sell a weapon, it unequips things. Rykar, thank you for coming by. I will see you um, next time, hopefully. Have a, have a good day. Or a good night. Um, all right, so... Weapon C. Armor B. And 72 food. All right. Hand. <laughs> I mean, it, it's a trade-off. You either buy food or you're constantly healing. Um, hand equipment from Alpha to Rogan. And I'm going to start with handing uh, the weapon over and the weapon is the mace and then we're going to hand equipment from alpha to krogan and we're going to hand over the armor which is cloth and then in use um nope <laughs> Uh, where? Skin. <laughs> and from three, two, one. Armor. Cloth. One. Hand. From three, two, one. Food. Seventy one. All right. Uh, Now I need to go back to the main menu, which I think requires me to close the game. Lord Cantabrigian British is his monogram. I did not know Cantabrigian was the was the first name. Do we cheat him and how? Check and make sure the money's still there. I already left, so if the money's gone, eh. Um. All right, first I need to disperse the party, and then I need to, let me examine the register. I want one, I want three, I want four, and I want ten. Form the party. Player one is one, player two is three, player three is four, and player four is ten. Main menu, journey onward. Yeah, I still have all the gold, so we're good there at least. Uh, what does Sage have equipment wise? A sling and cloth armor. And a dagger. Okay, ready. 
ready. Beta. Let us resurrect Sage. Chuckles says, welcome all. All right, Krogan, talk to them. Resurrection. Yes, I will pay the 500. Resurrect Sage. Our non-binary Bobbit Lark. Huzzah! Okay. Um, Sage has food. Wow! Uh... And from Krogan to Sayhild, some more food. Uh, 50. And from Krogan to Beta, more food. Uh, 70. Not bad. Um, and cast Cleric Spell, healing on Sage. Cast by them. Cleric spell on save. Really? <laughs> Having them immediately die from starvation, that that is a good tip. Um What do what do what do? Um Okay. Lark. Can use all weapons. Can only use cloth armor. Spell type sorcery. So the Lark can do wizard spells. Here's a question. Do we even want to resurrect Bob? I don't even remember what Bob class was. Let me... Because I feel like having a cleric in the party at this point is something we need. I don't know that we want them to be beta. Um, but we might just need to create a cleric if we don't have a cleric. Because I think a thief, a druid, a lark, and a cleric seems like a decent party. Now that I've been playing for a little while and have had some encounters. Um, I'm definitely liking having... Um, having beta... In the party. I'm going to save... Going to go back to our list of characters. All right. Uh, organize a party. Examine the register. <clears throat> So, Bob was a female dwarf fighter. We seem to be doing okay without having a dedicated fighter. Uh, Kira was a female... human... alchemist? 
Oh, uh, that does wizard spells. Definitely feeling cleric would be good. I think we just create one that has a better name than beta. There's a mod that lets you quit to main menu. Um, I'm trying to remember what was the name of the mod that I actually installed. Um, ooh. Is my stream doing weird things? Which is telling me that my that I'm unstable at the moment. But Streamlabs is not. Hmm. So I installed the Ultima upgrade mod, the Ultima 3 upgrade mod. Oh, 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 gotcha, 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 gotcha. It's buffered a few times, but okay. Uh, I mean, Streamlabs is telling me that I've, I've dropped a couple of frames, around 20%. Um, and Twitch Inspector is saying that I'm that I have not the greatest bitrate at the moment.
Okay. I think... I think it's a little better. <laughs> I'm back up to like five or around six megabits per second. Uh, it's... <sighs> I... I, there's nothing I can do to fix it. Um, it is a problem with Chantel. Um, and I don't really have a good explanation from them. They've come out and troubleshot a few times and have not been able to fully solve the problem. Uh, hopefully it will clear up here in a moment. Um, it's really frustrating because my download speed is like 150 megabits per second and then my upload speed is supposed to be 10, which usually works just fine, but when it drops down to like 1, um, it becomes extremely difficult to stream. Uh, they don't offer a plan with more than 10, or I would be paying for that. So, how's everybody's Saturday going? Oh, this is frustrating. I am running another test. You all can't even see me yet, can you? 